Matt Seidel was the third ever employee at Onyx Hunt. Fast forward eight years through a grip of hard work and dedication, and Matt is now the product owner of the app based in Missoula, Montana. And I hold a PhD in chemistry. Indeed, he does. He's one smart cookie. But as all good stories begin, it's not quite that simple. You see, on the other side of the country, there's, well, let me just show you. Matt Seidel and Wade Shoemaker may come from different universes, but there's one thing they have in common. Neither has hunted the waterfowl of Shangri-La, the Pacific Flyway. This is their story. The Pacific Flyway is something that people from where I'm at hardly even know exists. They've got a, a huge amount of birds that pass through there, something that people, people here will never see. As soon as I learned it, I, I knew that I, I needed to go. I had to go. Specifically, where we're going, there's two refuges settled right next to each other on the Oregon-California border, Tule Lake and Lower Klamath National Wildlife Refuges. It's said that 80% of migratory birds on the Pacific Flyway come through these refuges. Back in 1908, Theodore Roosevelt, as President of the United States, created what we now know as the Wildlife Refuge System. The Lower Klamath specifically was the first waterfowl refuge ever created. This is a great thing, but naturally, our friend Matt had a little something extra in store. The weird thing is that these refuges exist in part because of hats. Hats? Oh. Yes, Wade, hats. Let me show you. The collection of feathers on hats really started 1870, 1880 with the Victorian era. Their hats were getting bigger and bigger all the time. They were quite beautiful and the women really wanted them. It was a sign of your place in society. But to, to supply them, it was just, there was no way to supply every grade of feathers that they needed. So they were hunting everything. Okay, I see. So, so they, basically they were a commodity. So at the time, waterfowl were being hunted for not only their meat, which was the traditional market hunting, but also for their feathers. It was for the money. And the refuge was created to ensure that they weren't killed out because of the feathers, because of these gaudy hats. Okay, we've learned a lot. Good old Teddy Roosevelt, wildlife refuges and hats. Hats? Let's go hunting. These wildlife refuges are special. The fact that two people from opposite ends of the universe can find common ground shows what these lands are really capable of. I mean, Wade shoots with his middle finger and we still like him. Oh yeah, he done. When a leader like Teddy Roosevelt sees that 80% of Pacific Flyway birds come through these places and he preserves it, that's forethought and leadership within our own hunting community. All in all, and excuse me for saying this, these places are the proverbial feather in the cap. Thanks, Teddy. <laughs>